Wow. Wow. We are live. Pioneer Village. Come one, come all to the industrial Pioneer Village. We're having some fun today at the village. What are we doing? We're taking our time, man. We're relaxing. We're chillaxing. We're, we're training. Again, training flight number 25 on the way here shortly at the village. We are in beautiful, lovely Brecon, Ontario. We love Brecon. It's a beautiful place. The dumpsters here look fantastic. It's a beautiful day. Northwest winds again, so they're going to get a shoulder tailwind. And again, I'm not a big fan of tailwinds, but hey, when you pray for rain, you're going to have to deal with the mud. So today has its own challenges in it. Do they know to stop? Do they know to stop? Do they know how to play the game properly? Time will tell here at the village. Pickbird's running right now. The Pickbird's at 700 and change, almost at 800. It'll probably be at 800 tonight. You guys tell me if you guys want to do a happy hour. But the wind is rolling, folks. The wind is rolling. Jason, 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 Jason. Big announcement coming on Monday night's Pioneer Family Show. I think it'll be on Monday. Maybe no. Maybe I'll do it on Sunday. It's going to be on Sunday. Sunday on the race show. As long as these birds come home. Again, birds have been basketed all day since about 1030 this morning. Stephen Brown is with us from lovely Belfast, Ireland. Again, we love it in Belfast. Sounds like a Canadian place. It really does. Birds are going to go up here in approximately five minutes. We're at the food land. Again, guys, I'm not going into the food land today. I'm going into the shopping at the food land tomorrow because it's pretty busy here today. Again, promoting pigeon racing, the Pioneer Village. Alan, what's going on, my man? Alan, Alan, Alan. But you guys see the wind. And I really don't even need, I don't even really need the flags here today to do this because she is windy. About uh, 20 kilometer winds. There's some gusts rolling. But again, does it really matter? Grant Wilson, he's all the way down from, uh, from Australia. I'm going to put this flag away now because you know what? I don't need it out. What's finally got cooking the chili? going to cook the chili. See, I want to get you fired up. I'll have the chili cooked. You just be ready. Ooh, leave him alone, man. Leave him alone. No fighting, kids. No fighting. Inch by inch by inch. Brecon, Ontario. 50 mile mark. Just got home from band practice with Troy. Oh, humana, humana. 6 p.m. We're going to go, guys. Please let me know. Angel, you're in the house. Good luck today, Angel. Thick bird pots right now at around 750 or so. Hey, Ryan, how can I message you for inquiries? Roy, uh, you can just message us PM or send me a text. I can give you my phone number, 416-990-0187. Once again, send me a text. Don't call me because I'm on the show right now. But it's 416-990-0187. How's it going, Big Earn? I got Big Earn with me here today. I got my my little buddy with me. Don't know what time it is as we wait. But it is a beautiful sky. I'm just going to check the time out here. Or if you have a question, fire it in on here. I can maybe answer it for you. Pioneer Village. Four minutes to go till. Lift off. Not going to be that busy of a night tonight. I think uh, I think a lot of people are busy on a Friday. We've got loft manager Ricky. He's at the loft. Five fifty-five. Thank you. Let me know when it says fifty-eight. I'm going to leave this truck running again. Today's training flight is to help for your pick birds. If I was picking, I'd be picking after today. Because there's going to be some real different sleepers today. I kind of like this spot again. We've got the water on this side. The bird's got to go this way. So they, if they're super fast, they'll kitty corner. But the wind is going this way. So it's a shoulder tailwind. It's good, strong, and hard. As we wait. Mow the cheese man. You guys want to meet Mow the cheese man. He will be at the village this Sunday. 
reminder, if the birds come good today and the birds come good tomorrow, graduation will be on Sunday. But again, everything depends on what these birds do when they go out. This is not on me. This is on them. They have to give their very best. Birds have put the work in for 24 consecutive tosses, different skies, different winds, different conditions, different distances, and they've given their very best. That's all we can ask of them here again today. Remember, inch by inch. Is there a certain flight that the birds molt when ship uh, uh I, you know what i would never ship on the 10th flight if the 10th flight's coming up and there's a there's a hole there never sometimes when they're on their fifth that's in the arm right but uh, sometimes you can't help it there you go i like your name man i can't pronounce your name not your first name your last name. See, if you were French, we'd call you Raw. Patrick Roy. Actually, we call you Roy. Patrick Roy. Roy Raw. Here we go. Look at, hey, the Tracys. You guys always sit together. What are you two doing? I've never seen you twos like this before. You two blue grizzles always side by side. Dig into those inches. Guys, we're going to have to take out Ricky and the Twisted Sister. We're going to have, Ricky's got a new pad rolling, a new pad today. He's got the Taurus Benzing Super Pad. Time, please. Need the time check. Come on, guys. Stick with me here. Floor 59. Here we go. Good luck, guys. Tailwinds of about 20 kilometers, shoulder tail. Six o'clock. Here we go. Good luck to all. I will answer your comments after I get these birds out. Just hold tight. Good luck, pigeons. Give us your best. Clock is running on benzene. Clock is running on wind companion. Pick birds over 700 now. We're going to try and get it to nine or a thousand. Do we want a happy hour? Guys, you're going to have to let me know if you want to play in a happy hour. Here we go. Come on, guys. Up, 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 Come on, chocolate delight. Let's go. Give her the high gear, boys. There we go. And they're up. They're, t they're pulling tight. Last time they left out of here like rockets. That was last time. This is a new timeout. Wind conditions slightly the same. They're in two big groups now. They haven't got into sync. Again, that wind can do it for you. Here we are. There's a group there. There's a group there. Two groups. It's going to screw them up here a bit. We're, they're going to break. One group. Here we go. Good luck to everyone. And remember, this is the Pioneer Village. Brecon, Ontario, if the show cuts out, just stay on. They will reload. I promise you. This is the Pioneer Village. They're up and they're growing. Still playing around a little bit. I never like to see them play, but a lot of strong wind today. Stronger than the last time. Here we go. Still circling. Don't like that. I never like watching pigeons circle. FYI. But, this is still train. 25th time down that road. I haven't seen them now in a moment. There they are. Here they are, right here. They're up high. They're moving. I'm going to tell you if they're moving right now. Now they've started to drop the hammer. No more circling. Oh, they're doing a zig into the wind. They cut back. Oh, boy. We could be in a good one today. They should be able to surpass us today, inch by inch by inch. Sorry for the noise. My goal is to beat them. Their goal is to annihilate me. The last time they did this was in 49 minutes. 
Do I see a 49-minute performance here today? Nah, I don't know. It is Friday. You know what happens to teenagers on Friday, guys. Okay, let's get back to the comments. Up, up, up. Yes. The kind, what is going on? Get your Pickfords in, folks. Get them in. You guys want a happy hour? Do you want a real happy hour? Or what are you guys thinking? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, I can only ask this question. There's 18 of you online. 18 of you online. No, no, Henry. Can't do that to Jeffrey today. Jeffrey's not out there yet. Jeffrey is not out there yet. He's going to get a couple days off. I got to let him regroup, rebuild, refocus, fall back in love with the law. I did notice, I think he got hit by a hawk because he has right under his armpit, it looks like he's got a little hole. And I figure that's what happened to him. Strong pigeon. Heart of a lion. He's Jeffrey. I will let you know when Hen when, when Jeffrey starts back down that road. We're going to make a production out of it. He's, our, he's the man. He's into the Hedgy Heart Award candidates. It's a quiet group today on the Friday. Good skies, good wind. Oh, yeah. It's down now to them. Can't do much more than this. Toss 25. They've had seven or eight, two miles. Seven or eight, uh, 10 miles. Seven or eight, 20 miles. Now, this is their second time at 50 miles. Yes, Jeffrey needs a bit of rest, guys. You can't always rush it. Take your time. Get a bird back, take your time. You don't always ground and pound them, but just take your time. As we head back home, we're going to see. We're going to see if these birds can beat 49 minutes. They should be able to. They could be able to. They might be able to. It might be a little later. It might break up. Might have a bad toss. We don't know. This is why we're training. This is why we're training. Old birds are with them again today. Can't leave those old birds at home. Got to keep working them. You know what happens if you don't work the muscle? You lose the muscle. Keep going. Keep digging. Inch by inch by inch by inch by inch by inch. 44 minutes. Whoa. No, no, not today. I shouldn't kibosh it. Maybe, yeah. You never know. 44, yeah. Maybe 44. The fun part is, they can already be ahead of me. Last time they were on this side with this wind. This time, they might, if they're on this side, I don't like it. If they're on this side, I like it. One thing I do love, though, is I love the energy when I talk to them to go. You want to know how funny it is? I always say to them the same thing. Up, 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 up. That's what I say when I let them out. But when I load them into the basket, I talk to them the same way to get out of the basket. Come on. Up, 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 up. But the birds in the trailer never get fired up. They can they can distinguish what I'm saying. Isn't that something? All right. Oh, we got a red light. Uh-oh. This is where they surpass me. If they're on point, they will start to pass me now. We're looking around. Beautiful sky. 51 minutes, says Mr. Tracy. Maybe you're right. We know one thing. They've done it once. Shoulder wind from the west. Yes. Last time they were up, shoulder wind from the west. They had the same winds twice. Nothing we can do. 27 kilometers an hour. Northwest, exactly what Rosedale Loft said. Oh, I thought those were pigeons. They weren't. Getting excited. Cutting that tension with a rope. Cutting that tension with a rope. Who comes up with that saying? Cut it with a knife. We got Big Earn. He's spinning the ones and twos with us. 58 minutes, says Stephen John Brown.
and I'm looking. I'm looking beside me. I'm looking to see if these kids can do it again. Temperature, yes, is a whopping 22. And I'm not joking, guys. Take a look. 21, 22, wherever you are, it could be slightly different. In the uh, the North Pole, it's a little colder. Africa is going to be a little warmer. But it's 22 at the village as we wait. Nine percent cloud coverage. For you pioneer villagers, it's gonna be fun. I always love the excitement. There's that water. I don't know if you guys can see that water right there. You'll see it right now. See that water. There's the water. They come along the edge of that water. Remember, we can't go over the water yet. Rosedale's calling Wayne's World. Oh boy. If, if we hit Wayne's World, if 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 he's calling Wayne's World, if that's the first bird in, because he's called it twice now, he's gonna get a free pick if Wayne's World is first. And remember, if Wayne's World is first, party time, excellent. Knuckles is being called first. Blue Buffalo. Oh, oh, oh. guys, 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 relax, eh? Relax, relax. I don't think any of those are first. Maybe Ricky with the Twisted Sisters. You guys want to look at one. Look at Fire. Uh, no, look at Igor. Igor is a bird up in the Twisted Sister. Grandchild of the, the legendary Renzo. Twisted Sister Igor. Yesterday, on the, on the instant replay... It's one of the first three birds on the pad for Ricky, and it never scans. And, top it off, he lets it back out, and it beats the pad twice. So we've had Ricky out there all day. Electronic Ricky. He's been making the diving board all the good. All. All the good fixings on the clock. And he's tweaked her. He has tweaked her. The old guy's tweaking Top, look at the top 20. Blue Grizzle. Look at the top 20. Two Blue Grizzles. Yes, yes. P&D Stud. Both of those two Blue Grizzles. Whoa, ho, ho. And what are they down from? From what I... Oh, I think I see them. I think they're ahead of me. Whoa, ho, ho. Let me look. No way. Oh, a lot of trees here. A lot of trees. I don't know. Um, I have to keep my eyes peeled. They're out of, uh, they're, uh, come on. What's that super blue grizzle out of Belgium? What was his name? Oh, the Mays have him. Time on the wing, 10 minutes. Come on, uh, Pitbull. They're down from Pitbull and Tarzan. All the good pigeons. All the old David Peters, the good stuff. Still looking, 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 looking. I thought I had seen them, but maybe, maybe not. You know what? I didn't see them. The sky's playing tricks on me. WTF, Ryan. Oh, Troy, what's the matter? What is the matter, Troy? Let it out. Ooh, red light. Ooh, Ooh red light. More time for them to surpass me. If they are on, by now they have to pass me. But that's okay. Pitbull, there you go. Pitbull, Pitbull, Pitbull. I'm looking. I'm looking. Am I going to see them? Probably not. Has any whites been up in the front? Yes. On the last one, if you watch the slow motion replay, Ricky beats me with easily pure Icelandic. And for you guys that don't know about Icelandic, <laughs> uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's the man, Troy. Troy and Tracy are doing their duet. I hope when they do their song, they're going to be holding hands together. Just saying. Really add to the, uh, the ambiance of the national anthems. Again, I haven't heard from Sherry Tracy how the, uh, 
Pioneer Anthem is coming along. Again, guys, if you want to help out with the Pioneer Anthem, don't be shy. Message the Tracys. If they don't take your bit for the song, that means it probably wasn't that good. Right from Icelandic. Yes, Icelandic Whites. Beautiful sky this evening, early evening. Or is this early evening, late evening? What evening is it? Probably go well with Walsh birds. You never know. A good pigeon can go good with any pigeon. You got to have the right ones. As we're looking, as we are looking, we are looking, looking, looking. Not seeing it. But again, this is pigeon racing. You're not going to see them every time. But it's, that seems to be that one time you see them. It holds you into the next one. They've done everything we've asked of them and more. Can they hold it together for another one? That's on them now today. Shoulder tailwinds. Inch by inch. Inch by inch. Training flight number 25. The Pickford Pot. Just over 700 now. 750, 742, 765. I don't know. Do we want a happy hour? I'm asking you people again. This is the last time. Remember, you guys want the happy hour. I can make that happen. Rocket ships are going. Remember, guys, we never know when the train wreck's coming. But she will come. We just hope not today. Should be challenging. Oh, we're going to see. We're going to see who's focused and who's not. Can the old birds rip a hole in them? Or will they all stay together? We don't know. We're at the Pioneer Village. Guys buying corn. You know, keep looking for those birds. We waited till the winds were the strongest. Testing, testing, testing. Always testing, always training. Coming up by the church, guys. If you are religious, or even if you're not, and you want to say a prayer for those pioneer villagers, now is your time. Start your praying now. And I'm going to let you know when to stop praying. Get those quick prayers in. Prayer, 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 prayer. And keep going. Keep going. And we're done. Done praying. Praying is over. Finished. Thanks for praying all your prayers, wishes. Thank you very much. Pioneer villagers. Now, if I am ahead of these pigeons, which I don't know if I am, I'm going to say that I am. When we turn here now, this is the time they could surpass us. It's a little bit greasy, but we're going to try and watch for them. Sky, though, is a hard color of sky today. I think a little bit. We don't know. Last time we seen a couple. David Tracy's praying. I don't know. I think he's praying for blue grizzles. I don't know what he's praying. He's praying. Sent the prayers out. Whoa. As we wait, as we watch, this could be the time because they're coming along this side. But they could already be over here. We don't know. This is what you do when you're at the village. 17 of us now are on the line. I always like it when we hit 30. Actually, my favorite number is 29. 29, I feel like I'm doing something. Got that little bit of glare from the sun, but that's okay. As we wait, birds have been on the wing. 16 aerodynamic minutes. Heading back from Brecken to the village. No pigeons yet. Haven't seen one. That doesn't mean they're not behind. That doesn't mean they're not ahead. That doesn't mean they're not going in the right direction. It could mean all of the above as we wait. Again, Pioneer Schedule is up now. Enjoy it, guys. Going to be a fun-filled season. Eight action-packed races and more super information to follow, hopefully this Sunday. We're looking, we're viewing. We're not seeing. 
Beautiful. Oh, there they go. Nope. I thought that was them. God damn it. They were too low. Earn, you better bring me luck today, boy. Wayne's got it. Wayne has got it. Wayne's got it. I always love the movie Wayne World. I always thought my sister, when she was younger, she had hair like Garth. Remember Garth Algar? Great movie, old Wayne's World. Great movie, Wayne's World was. Remember that movie? What happened to Mike Myers? That was one of his best movies he ever did. Wayne's World. I mean, like, they could have just made Wayne's World after Wayne's World. Like, just keep going with Wayne's World. And do you guys realize that Wayne's World was one of those first movies that was kind of like they pretended the, ca- the camera followed them around? Like, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Don't you think? Remember the suck cut? It sucks while it cuts. Yeah? Come on, you guys. You remember that. You guys remember old Wayne's World. Yeah, I got fooled by you earlier. No, no, no. As we are heading back to the village, no rain. In this afternoon's forecast, haven't heard from uh, Troy about the weather. Troy, how is the weather where you are? Back to you, Troy. Earn, I know, you're a little bit cold, bud. I'm going to give him a t-shirt. There you go. Earn likes the t-shirt. You got to give him a... Sometimes you got to give Big Earn the t-shirt he's looking for, big guy. As we're heading to the village, let's keep her together, guys. Wayne's World, great movie. It is a great movie. Now, uh, I think, David Tracy, you guys have, like, fairly young kids. Now, I I don't really know exactly how old your kids are. Maybe they're, like, 12. Maybe they're 15. Maybe they're 20. Maybe they're 4. I don't know. Did your kids see Wayne's World? What do they think of Wayne's World? Because I'm wondering if the new kids like the Wayne's World movie. You know, like, or is it just they look at it as dumb? I, I always think, you know, like when Ricky showed me one of his old movies, I'm like, yeah, this thing's shit. He thought it was great. But they think Wayne's World shit? Still, no pigeons. Great. Great Chuck from Scarborough. Great Canuck. Oh, yeah, he's a great Canuck. I don't know. I don't know if he's a nice guy or he's a doucher. I haven't, I haven't, I thought he was a bit of a doucher. I thought someone said he was a doucher, but maybe he's not. Schwing? Schwing, yeah. Remember when he used to go Schwing? Now, the question was, who was Wayne and Garst's favorite girl in that movie. What was her name? The favorite celebrity girl. Do you guys remember that? Come on. Let's see who knows their Wayne's World trivia. Who was the girl they go shwing? Come on. There's only one. Come on. Here we are. We finally hit a green light. Feeling good about the greens. Greens is performance. Oops. Ran over a sign. You guys can't look it up. Come on, no looking it up. No, that wasn't her. HL. HL. First name H, last name L. Still looking. Why are we even looking? Who knows? We're looking because we're pigeon flyers, and this is what we do. We see one glimpse of them, and we feel like we're unstoppable. They will be high, I assume. I know one year I came along here and I could, they were, I was following them. There you go. Look at, uh-oh, is he going to have the Pickbird winner this week? 
Scott Hall, Heather Locklear, Shawing. Remember when you told Garth you're in a room and it's dark? You're with Heather Locklear. Remember that? I remember that. Heather Locklear. That is right. Wonder what the old girl's up to now. Ah! As we wait at the village, clock is running. Wind companion is going. The birds took a little while to get together today. They broke off into two groups. They didn't break up. It's just the way they come out of the transporter system. They broke themselves up, and then they had to wait to catch up with each other, and now the race is on. Is today a Fergus? A deal? Jackson? Wayne's World. Top Chef. Who is it going to be? Twisted Sister, LMR, or me? Getting clean and sober from being a... What? A wacko. What? Oh, boy. A lot of stuff going on there. I don't know about peeps. Baywatch days. Oh, yeah, Baywatch. Who didn't didn't like Baywatch? That was a great show. Mitch Buchanan, remember? Knight Rider on the beach. CJ, that was great, too. See, who didn't like CJ, eh? There's that stupid kid named Cody. You can get rid of him. Yeah. Sun's coming out right here. We're coming into Virginia. Again, if the birds follow us exactly, this is the course... But they will. This is exactly what they would see if they were following right over me. But I think they're in a different location. I don't think Heather Locklear was on Baywatch. Maybe she was. Again, uh, our good buddy Brian Mansker is getting ready for the big chili cook-off. He will be putting his chili on the line. Wherever he's from, Brian, he is in a chili showdown, showcase showdown. Some say that Brian Mansker is going to win the chili cook-off in his area, and I'm wondering, will he end up having to go up against, against Heather Green? I haven't seen Heather in a while on here. When's the last time I've seen her? Heather there! Heather! Hold on, ah, we went. Mike Vanderjack, they will be over Lake Simcoe right about now. That's what old Mikey Mike and the Funky Bunch come down with. I don't know. Yes or no, they'll come alongside the water or they've already went past it. Again, we don't know. We are at the village waiting patiently. Love Manager Richard, he is having a double vodka diet, lots of ice, and probably a half a lime. As we wait, did you ever think Bugs Bunny? Look, yeah, I think she looked great when she dressed up in when he dressed up in a dress and played Girl Bunny. I did. Who didn't think that? Come on, what guy out there did not think that Bugs Bunny did kind of look cute? Huh? Come on, come on, come on. Stairway to heaven, guys. Denied. Hey, okay, here's the question. What? What was the name of their car? Didn't they name their car? Didn't they name their little blue car, remember? Uh, Oh, was it a Gremlin? Whatever that car was, remember? It had one super feature in it that I always thought was great. And uh, the name of her. Best movie... Of the 80s to go. Pacer. Who's the Pacer? What? Is that the best movie? Breakfast Club. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like the Breakfast Club? You know what? It's a pretty good movie. I don't think it's that bad. Oh, we're slowing down in Virginia. This reminds me a lot of uh, the state's Virginia when I drive through it. It looks just the same. Martin Noble. 
Mirth Mobile. It was the Mirth Mirth Mobile. The Twizzlers, yeah! Scott Hall, man, you know what? He's all messed up. This one's for Scott Hall, guys. The Mirth Mobile, yeah, the Mirth Mobile. There you go. The Twizzlers, who doesn't love the Twizzlers? Leah, God, remember, this isn't all about Pretty in Pink and the Breakfast Club and I'm just playing. There's all lots of good movies, guys. Lots of good movies. In the in the 80s and the 90s of good movies. A lot of good movies out there. But Wayne's World is right up there. Could be a super top movie. Super top movie, Wayne's World. A lot of good scenes in it. A lot of good scenes. Okay, do you remember, do you remember the big boss in Wayne's World? Do you remember what the big bosses, remember they were doing the commercials for the guy? What was the the name of the guy's company? It's cool, it's hip, it's, remember the rap? I don't know, I, I know the name of it. Do you remember? Backpack, what is this? Michael Peebler, boo! Riders of the Riders of the Lost Ark. Oh, Mike Vanderyak's really starting to date himself. I think that movie was in like what the nineteen seventies. Great movie, great movie. The Peeves. What's the Peeves up to? Brat Pack. I never even heard of that one. Uncle Buck. Who doesn't like Yubi? Remember Yubi from Uncle Buck? Goddamn great movie. Now I don't know who made the movie in Uncle Buck. Was it Uncle Buck? Or was it the two little kids? I, I thought the old the old girl in there, she was real crusty. She kind of reminded me of Leah a little bit. Remember good old Macaulay Culkin? Oh boy, National Lampoons. National Lampoons, another great movie. Now, out of all the National Lampoons, which one's the best one? Is it the first one? Is it the Christmas one? Is it the the European Vacation? Or is it the Vegas Vacation? Step Brothers, another great movie. Tracy, how did I know you were going to say Step Brothers? I knew you were on that one. National Lampoons. Is the best one European? Which one is it? You guys tell me what you think. Fletch, 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 Chevy Chase. Never seen it. Never seen Fletch. And I like Chevy Chase. Never seen Fletch. Never seen Caddyshack. Never seen them. Not going to lie, guys. I've never seen one James Bond movie. Never seen one James Bond movie, ever. I have never seen one Star Wars movie, ever. Not going. Not going to happen. I don't care about D2RT or whatever you call them. No, not into that. Okay, not into that. And James Bond, put me to sleep. Two pretend for me. Tombstone, never seen Tombstone. Come on. All right, here we are. We're starting to head now towards the village again, a little bit more. Those birds that have locked onto the correct room are out in front. And everyone else follow, follows the line. Neither, neither. Ryan, European Vacation was great too. Yeah, it was. Europe, 80s, Pulp Fiction. Never, uh, you know what? I've seen it, but I, I don't, I wasn't a big fan of it. I'm not, hey, everyone likes their movies, okay? Trains, Planes, and Automobiles. That one could be an all-time super movie. I mean, you got to take a look. You take a look at John Candy. John Candy, that is a shame. That guy kicked the bucket. I bet you we could have got him at the Pioneer Village. He looks like a Pioneer Villager. John Candy is Pioneer Village. Pioneer Village. No two ways around it. He's Pioneer Village, guys. Inch by inch we go. These birds are working their little bags off today. They've got that shoulder tailwind. If the brains aren't with them, they will be... In the wrong area. And they will have to work back into a headwind. But if the shit's between their ears, they will figure this out. 
Ace Ventura, oh man, you can't beat Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura 1 and 2 were fantastic. Blazing Saddles, never seen it. House of a Thousand Creepy Zombies. No, I'm, I'm not into zombies, no. No, Canadian Bacon. Oh man, Mike, I was waiting for someone to say that one. Weekend at Bernie's was great. I love Canadian Bacon. Uh, remember they were shooting guys right off the bridge? God, I love Canadian Bacon. Les Gerard, an amazing movie. Hold on. What did old Les Gerard say? We missed him. Shawshank Redemption. Wow. Okay, now you're starting to hit heavy. Hot Rod. Never seen it, Henry. Canadian Bacon. What did old Les say? Les, Les, Les. Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry. Hey, the movie with the pool. Uh, the, the old one in the black and white. Come on now. What was it called? Uh, Fuzzy. One of Fuzzy's favorite movies. Um... Oh, Clint Eastwood. No, not Clint Eastwood was in it. The guy that has the... Paul Newman was in it. Come on. They, there was two movies. One one time Paul Newman was in it with Minnesota Fats. And then Paul Newman was in it again with... Uh, what's his name? Pretty Boy there. Tom Cruise. Come on. What was the movie? Come on, folks. Let's give her the high gears. Let's root these goddamn pioneers on. I didn't flex it in the Canadian winter mix on Korea. I, I don't know that movie, Tracy, but man, you're coming up with a lot of good ones. Debbie does Dallas. One to five. Peebler's in with a five. All right. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. I'll, I've got to get back to that movie. It's the pool players. Come on, guys. What's the name of the movie? Come on. It's the only black and white movie I like. Come on, let's go. We talked about this, Leah, the other day. Pioneer Village at its best, guys. Sometimes on a Friday, what's more fun than talking about Napoleon Dynamite? Now, Henry, this, this, this just, me and you, we're related, Henry, because who doesn't love Napoleon Dynamite? I love the part when he gets the tots. Remember the tots get crunched? The tots in his pocket? And La Fonda. Remember La Fonda? Who doesn't love La Fonda? La Fonda. I love La Fonda. <laughs> As we wait, birds have been on the wing exactly 34 aerial nautical minutes. Again, I haven't changed the clock time in it. Good, bad, the ugly. Not bad. Not bad. We're taking our time today, guys. We're only doing 100 kilometers an hour right now. These birds could be past us, they could be behind us, or they could be going in the wrong direction. But as we wait, lots of good movies. Do chickens have talents? Brian Mansker, look, he just he just put he's working on the finishing touches on the chili. I am gonna make Brian's chili. I haven't forgot. It's the next thing up on the Ryan's to-do list. Another, you want me to tell you another Cool Hand Luke? Good movie. But nobody's, come on, what's what's the pool movie with Paul Newman? Somebody, Ted. Oh, Ted. Wasn't that a bear? Okay, guys. First race tomorrow. Brian Mansker is going to put on a show for us. He showed me. Brian Mansker clocked 20, what was it, 35 birds or something? 25 seconds? We're, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, let me get this, let's see, we did you take, the? where did I take the birds, come on, Les Gerard, man, you better not be into that, that, that liquor, boy, we're in Brecon today, 50 miles again, back to Brecon, Schloss number 25, birds were released, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, Northern Pacific Time, for you worldly people, that is New York time, that's when we let the birds out, Shoulder tail winds of 20 kilometers. Same wind as the last time they were here. Birds didn't break nearly as good as I liked, but hey, that's okay. Yes, less. Yes, less. Yes, less. Less. The old birds are with them. And Troy, where the hell is Troy now with the weather? The Hostler! That 
watch the movie right there, and there's two hustlers. Watch them both. Paul Newman stars in black and white. Then he brings in a good old Tom Cruise for color. I don't think the second one's nearly as good. There's just something about Minnesota fats, how fat he is, and he wears the nice suit, and he doesn't drink. Cool Hand Luke's a great movie. A lot of good movies out there. Now, for you international people, what did you guys think of Braveheart? Just, I'm just going to throw that one out there. Just, just let that one marinate a little bit. I think that was another good movie. And, guys, I'm going to tell you, if you want to watch a good one, a real good one, if you've never done it, you want to earn some points with the misses. Wow, Forrest Gump, Frank, you're really coming over the top rope now. That's one of my all-time favorites. I thought Hustler was amazing, yes. I hate Tom Cruise. You know what? I hate Tom Cruise. But if you watch him in Jack Reacher, the first one, I think that's his best movie he ever did. Jack Reacher is a good movie. Okay? And again, I'm not into the Mission Impossible. I'm not into all that shit. No. But I think Tom Cruise and Jack Reacher, I'm giving them points. I think Tom Cruise in in the, uh, you know, the movie there, Rain Man, I thought he was good there. In Arm, in, in Am from Scotland. Lieutenant Dan, Lieutenant Dan. Yes, we got Lieutenant Dan in the race this year. We do. But Forrest Gump was a great movie. Um, what other, you know what other movie I liked? Terminal with Tom Hanks. That was a great movie. Castaway was a great movie. Mr. Big was a great movie. And you guys aren't having fun. Guys, you think this is only pigeon racing? Fuck no. This is the Pioneer Village. This is what we're doing. We might lose them all today, but we sure had fun talking movies, movies and pigeons all at one. Epic from Architraz. Yes, good, good, good. I'm reading the comments while I'm driving, guys. Just, just. Am I the only one that likes Nacho? What? Nacho? I've never heard of it. Again, another two great movies, Trailer Park Boys. Both of them are great. Uh, I think they're good. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, uh, the movie Radio is great. Um, the Equalizer, pretty good. Watch the Top Gun. Watch Top Gun. Uh, I, you know what? Top Gun's not bad. It's not bad. It's just, again, I mean, you know, they're, they're, who plays... Who plays beach volleyball with jeans on, no shirt? I mean, your pants are just full of sand, right? You've got complete crotch. Your crotch is on fire. I mean, you know what? They could have dropped it into a Speedo if they wanted. I mean, that's what Mike Vandriak would have put on. You know, maybe some 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 shorts. I don't know. You know, just saying. Major League, yeah, who doesn't? Saving Private Ryan, another good movie. Yeah, man. We're going down Hangover, good movie too. Guys, you see, when you're driving and you take someone pigeon flying, don't talk about the pigeons. Talk about anything else. Talk about anything else. Hey, guys, what do you think about A Night at the Roxbury? Night at the movies, 40 minutes on the wing, folks. That's right, we are at about if we turn this way right now, we are exactly 15 Erical nautical miles to the village. But I think today I've got the beat. I don't think today they have it in them to beat. I don't think. But again, what do I think and what do I know are two different things. Shawshank, that's a great one. Great, great, great movie. Lots of great movies. Man, there's some really good ones. Um... What'd you guys think of Twister? Oh, Dumb and Dumber, Stephen Brown. Man, that's a that's another great movie. Now, for those of you who like Jim Carrey, I liked Ace Ventura. I liked Dumb and Dumber. I wasn't a big fan of Liar Liar. I wasn't a big fan of The Mask. No, did you eat McDonald's? No, I didn't eat McDonald's. Can you, Leah, can you text Ricky and say I didn't eat McDonald's? Where are the birds? Yeah, forget the birds right now. We're talking movies, guys. Let's let's keep focus on what we're looking at here. 
Brian Mansker's bird smoked it off 1,325 meters per minute. They were on fire. You guys will want a great movie to win points with the, with the misses. Put on the movie The Notebook. I guarantee you, by the end of it, you're going to be crying too. The Notebook, one of my ultimate favorite movies. Just saying. Just going to throw that one out there. As we're heading back to the village, you can cut this tension with a knife. Ricky is at the loft. Ricky is waiting. Again, Big Nance is texting me when I'm on a show. If someone can text Big Nance and let her know I haven't eaten anything. Ern, haven't we eaten anything, boy? Absolutely not. Hey, guys, what about this movie? Oh, I thought those were pigeons. Nope. Here's another one. The Truth of Emily Rose. What do you guys think of that one? Nothing yet. Let Big Nance know. She loves the notebook. Yeah, and there's another one about the wall. About the wall, the military guy. I watched it yesterday. Dawson Days or whatever. He climbs up the wall to save all the soldiers. The Heat. Oh, man. The Heat's great movie. The Goonies. $50 bill. $50 bill. Who doesn't love the Goonies? Man, now we're really starting to come down. The Pigeon Who Saved Europe. I've never even heard of this one. Is that an actual movie? If that's an actual movie, you know what I'm you know what I'm saying, Leah. I want to see this movie. Look at the wind here. We are getting ready to mount on to the the free of way. We are in Georgina now. LMR. What is this? LMR. Yeah, it's a squirrel. Remember that time? For people who don't know this, maybe Tracy's one of the only people I've ever seen it. The, the episode where the squirrel mounted Ricky. Ah, that was a good day. Mike Green. No, Green Mile. See, my dyslexia kicked, kicked in there. The Great Outdoors, another great movie. Henry Rounder, guys. You can see he's pumped. He's got Jeffrey back. He's got Ryan Coke, and, and Baloney is coming on like a freight train. Fifty Shades of Grey, Frank Eichhorn. I, I don't... Frank, what are you talking about? Frank, you've never watched Fifty Shades of Grey. Heading back to the village, down to the final stretch. Frank, the clock is running good. Yes, your clock. I figured out what we were doing wrong. Heading back to the village is the most fun part. I got to thank you guys for tuning in. V for... The Stand By Me. Oh, that's a great movie, too. Stand By Me. A very emotional movie. I don't know why, but it just was. I think because they had that narration shit going on. Whenever I get that narration shit, I get really roped into it. Then, you know, the next thing you know, you're... And I like the guys... They pick the greatest narrational voices. I mean, the greatest. Braveheart, yes, the kinds into Braveheart. So, so am I. Now, hey, here's one for you. What do you guys think of the movie Troy? Troy, that's a real movie, guys. Forty-four minutes. You are out. Well, that's okay, Leah. The Godfather. Oh, all the Godfathers are good. You know what? I didn't think Jaws was that bad. I mean, I don't know why they've never done a real, a real Reddick. Yeah, not bad Reddick. I'm not, those aren't, that's not my kind of movie. Hey, guys, here we go. Here is the question for you. How many of you people have seen Where the Red Ferns Grow? Where the Red Ferns Grow. 45 minutes all on the wing. These birds have done it in 49 minutes. Deer Hunter? Yeah, not a bad movie. Come on, how about the movie Casino, guys? Yes, and I got a second one. He ha he was here Wednesday morning. We got a second one. All right, Frank's got a second one. We're not sure what Frank's talking about. Back to the Future. Yeah, one, two, and three. Who doesn't like Back to the Future? Marty McFly, 
Oh, yeah. Drone Striker. Never seen that one. Oh, Mr. Holland's Opus. Come on, who's seen that one? Rush Hour. What do I want for dinner? Leah, can you message Mother and say, I'm not, I'm on the show right now. I'm on the show. The Godfather. Frank, you're throwing out, these are movies that Kathy's watched. Come on, Frank, you told me you never watched one movie. Frank. Heading back to the village. 26 of you that are now on the line. Birds have been on the wing 47 minutes. The toe. Never seen the toe. Little brother. Where art thou? Never seen that one. Never seen it. I love it when people send me a text and right after they call me. I, I am not going to answer your call. Why? Because we're talking movies. We're at the Pioneer Village. It's Friday night. What a way to start our weekend. Pioneer Villaging. Does the weekend ever end? We don't know. It's the Pioneer Village. Pioneer, every day is a holiday. You're at the village. As we wait, you can cut the tension with the knife. Everybody's all worried. Maybe today will be the day. Maybe they don't come home. Maybe they do. Maybe they get broken up. Maybe we get a single. 310. Yeah, I like that one. You know what? We all missed the movie Gladiator. Come on, guys. What about Gladiator? Aaron Brockovich, another great movie. Come on. And I don't even watch all these movies. I've watched almost every one multiple times. Where pigeons go to die. LMR says 58 nautical minutes. I don't know. I'm going to go with an hour and 10 minutes today. One hour, 10 minutes. Gladiator started out good. Wait, all oh, 300. No, I wasn't a 300 fan. It started out good 300, and then I, I got too bullshitty. Like, it, I don't like non, what do you call it? Non, non whatever. Gods of Egypt. Never heard of that one. Secondhand Lions? Secondhand li Lions. I never heard of that one. Is that the one where the lion eats the people in Africa? 49 minutes on the wing. Pick bird pots. That's 700. You guys want to win it, get out there and pick it. If you picked your own bird, more than likely you're not going to win it. You're going to have to pick someone else's to get in there and win it. Pick, pick, pick. Tomorrow we are going to have... A fun-filled day, again, of training, if these birds make it today. Guido Madrusen, great movie. Lots of guys, this show works best when you guys participate. And participation is what I'm seeing, and I'm liking that. 59 minutes is Les Gerard. Nobody knows. I don't know what these birds have in them today. They could be firing on all cylinders. They could be firing on half cylinders. They could be firing on no cylinders. Remember, only 25 tosses. Today is their 25th toss. Today is their 25th toss. You know what that means, guys? They're still not that good yet. They're getting better. They're still not that good. John Wick, great move. I do like John Wick. I did. Enter the Dragon. Never seen that one. Hey, you know what? The kind. Did you ever watch the movie Chef? 51 minutes now on the wing. Don't panic. Inch by inch. They got to keep digging through all those inches. Birds! Whoa, birds. Whoa, dee -dee -dee. That screw up at the beginning. That screw up at the beginning cost them two minutes. But they're digging. Are those old birds? Are those young birds? What are they? We're going to have to wait and see. Don't panic. The Green Mile, excellent movie. That was another one I got goddamn emotional on. I mean, why couldn't they save that guy? I love how big they made him look. I mean, that that dude from Green Mile, it was the size of a... He was big. 
They are on fire. Fire, fire, fire. But we don't know that yet, folks. Remember, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Never watched it. I just, there's something about him. I couldn't do it. Same with Mr. Bean. I didn't watch Mr. Bean. I'm sorry. 99 clocks. Come on, pigeons. You're going to have to dig up. Don't call me. Don't call me. I am on a show. As we wait here at the Pioneer Village. Flying and flying. They lit me up again. 51 minutes on the wing. But that doesn't mean they're all there yet, folks. Let's just hold fast. Hold fast. Master and Commander. Another great movie. Beautiful, strong winds. They're playing in the wind. They're following along the edge of that water, cutting it off very nicely. Keeping the pace. A little bit slower today, but the beginning of their break wasn't the best. I didn't like how they broke today. They got all cock a doodle doo. They didn't do that on the first time out. The first time out, they dropped the hammer a little straighter, but they all come out straighter. 91 in the clock. War Dogs. I love that movie. Uh, Johanna, what's his name? Jonah Hona Hill. One of my favorite actors of all time. Super bad, great movie. War Dog, super movie. Moneyball, super movie. Um, bah, 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 bah. What's the other one he's in? Whatever movie Jonah Hill goes in, he kicks it. Top Chef 12. Hold on to kind. Putting on a show. De kind, de kind, de kind. Hello. <laughs> Take a look at the wind, folks. You want to see wind. There you're going to see it. Look at that flag. She's blowing and blowing. But that, what does that mean, folks? They're playing in a tailwind. They're using their brains. They're using the shit between their ears. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. 200 now on the clock. 40 to go. We might have to look at how Ricky's master pad is working. The master pad by Ricky. He took a benzene clock. We didn't have a stall trap made. What did he do? He dismantled an old Taurus. Put the stall on top of it. Innovation through tradition. 1863. Are you having fun yet? Tomorrow, back to Bracebridge for another go at it. If tomorrow goes well, graduation on Sunday, you can cut the tension with a knife. Who is going to be the winner? We don't know. Tomorrow, there is going to be an ultimate master. A master, master of masters. A master. I'm talking a super master. Pickbird. Happy hour special. My chocolate syrup. Let's go. That's right. Always remember, guys. Watch when you name pigeons after food. Bernay sauce. Chocolate syrup. I'm thinking a great name for the next chocolate pigeon should be called Dunkaroo. <laughs> no excuses today, boys. They got to ground it and pound it. Give it the high gear. That's what we're looking for. Get them to race. Remember, guys, these aren't my pigeons. These aren't Ricky's and these are not Leah's. We are working with them. They are your pigeons. They're your pigeons to play. Your pigeons to gamble on. Your Ragatouille. Yes, great movie. Oh, what's the movie with Lady Gaga? Oh, I like that movie too. Come on, no one ever said Wedding Crashers. What's wrong with Wedding Crashers? Another off the off the rocker movie. Owen Wilson, awesome. Day shift. We're pulling off on to Bloomington. You guys have went all 50 miles with me. 89 kilometers or whatever the hell it is. Pioneer, we are the race that shows you every goddamn inch. Every goddamn mile. Why do we do it? Because we want our breeders and our participants to see what their pigeon goes through daily basis. We might not show you everything, but we show you about 99% of everything. We show you the shit that you really want to see. That's what you have here today, folks. That's what you have here every day at the Pioneer Village. So, tomorrow, break open your piggy banks. There's going to be the ultimate happy hour at the Pioneer Village. It's going to be so earth-shattering. 
you're going to say, how can I do this? And I'm going to say, it's the Pioneer Village, baby. It's the Pioneer Village. Momentarily away, you can cut the tension with a knife. Loft manager Richard. The Great Wall, amazing. Never, I think, I don't know if I seen it or I didn't. Maybe I did see it. I'm not sure if I did. 23 of you are on the line. Tomorrow, 2.05 now on the clock. Whoa, whoa. Some of them couldn't keep the pace. They're going to be single tossing. You know what they say, if you can't keep the pace, you're in trouble. Heading back to the village. There will be a couple late ones. It's going to happen, guys. Remember, we are not all fit to be super racers. Some will make it. Some will not. It's not a knock on any of the birds. Birds have super qualities. All of them are built like steel. But some will go a little farther and a little faster and a little longer than others. This is pigeon racing, my friends. This is pigeon racing. As we wait. Pulling in, back in to the nautical village. Big Earn, what did you think, bud? Was that a, was that a, was that a good go today, Big Earn? Speechless. Have the air conditioning on. Ricky's going to give us probably... Ergus is first. Oh, no, the devil bird comes back. Guess who's back? Back again. Ryan's back. Tell your friend he came back. He came back. Ah. Come on. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's not about getting down. Avatar. Great movie. Yeah, come on, Ern. Elliot. No, wrong way. Come on, let's go. Hey, dummy O. Let's go. Come on. Bup. Come on. That's a boy. Come on. As we're waiting for the birds here at the village, we got Big Earn with us. Pigeon truck, Big Sydney. Pigeons are coming. Come on, Elliot. Come on, let's go. Come on. This is the slowest dog ever. Come on. Come on, Elliot. Let's go. Back at the village. How'd they go, Ricky? And we are. We. Fifty in one shot. Whoa. Yeah, we got a couple there picking still, but that happens. This is this is Troy's wish. We've got the video camera recorded, so that's great. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, all right, let me get over here and check the scoreboard out before we look at any pig. Uh, oh, I took the first three. Henry Ratter, whoa, ho, ho. Fuzzy's pick, bam. Classic flight, ba bam. Fergus shows back up again first from Classic Flight. Then return to sender. Freedom Guide Dog, MF Bullet with Fuzzy's pick. Henry Ratter's third. Then it's you. You, you, you. Three of you's. Ratter women. Henry had two in the top ten. Henry's doing things that even Henry didn't think he could do. Very nice. Excellent job. Real good. They come out. They broke off into two groups. They got caught up in the trees there or whatever. Well, Ricky, what do you want to do? Feed yours first? Yeah. All right, guys. Ryan, give the opportunity they will. What? Ryan, give, in, give the opportunity and they will. Daniel Herman, what's going on? We got 200 and, 210, 215. 214. 214. 
And again, uh, I'm going to look here. Okay, let's count Twisted Sisters. Okay, one. That's the, the thing we're, we're, we're most concerned about. Right. Okay, so one. I'm just going to. Okay. Here we go. You know what? Three. Yeah, that's where it is. That's where it is. Watching, they smoking. Right on there. Daniel Herman, how's it going? Again, we got the new stalls. And guys, we did want to show you, before we start anything, oh, there's an old bird back. We did want to show you how the Twisted Sister birds have to trap now. So as we, we made some adjustments. And I'm not going to climb up there so you can see, but I'm going to zoom in. So we have to put a new set of stalls on this trap to slow them down. And we're going to still have to make an adjustment on this, and we're going to adjust the final adjustment tomorrow. We're going to we're going to uh, we're going to make a. I got an idea here to even make it better. So, so Ricky, before we start, let them out. Out yeah. they go. Out they go. Well, because you want me to tell you something. There's more birds in there. They're, your birds are so fast up there. If these guys want to pick, if yeah. you guys are thinking. I'm going to tell you, when they're all on, this loft, from there to there, just it can be a little quicker. The height difference. If I was picking this week, I'm going to tell you a pigeon. Igor, pick this pigeon in this loft. Classic flight Igor. Let him out, Ricky. Let him out. Whatever Troy said, 100%. As you guys are going to see, Ricky's birds, come on out. We're having some fun here at the village. Way off. Way off. There's no way. Okay. And that, that's okay. That's what we need to see. Remember. I know. I know. And mine, you. and me. And, yeah. and again, yeah. your bird, your birds have to work on a new stall. You're right there again today, and we're about to see this guy. So remember what the clock is saying, folks. Remember what the clock is saying. We are going to see if what we've done for the adjustment is worked or hasn't worked. It will work for Sunday, I can guarantee you. Because I've got two more pads that have just arrived. Look at that bird. Wants to come to you for feed, eh? I told you, Ricky, if you get on the bicycle, they'll follow you. Here we go. And again, guys, we're all about making the adjustments. Making the adjustments. All, all the inches. You're going to see. All the inches, all the bricks, all the miles. You see it all here. He's kicking them out. Kicking them out. They're all out. No vegetables for mine today. Again, guys, training them to ride the bike.
what that picture is. Right. Okay, that's good. We might have to we might have to double pad in front of it now because the hole's small. That's the only thing. But they're coming in. That's exactly how they got to come in. So, so I'll check the trap. Let's see. I like when he gets them smoking. How long? How long till what? How long? 27. Look at the twisteds. 227. Still down a few. Still down a few. That's okay. Not a big deal. They will come. They will come. We've got the photo finished on here today. I'm going to come up with Ricky's loft and we'll show you how they look. Uh, what's Les Gerard asking? You want to feed them up there? You're already there. Chocolate syrup right there. And again, uh, Jay-Z, if you're on, please check if chocolate syrup clocked. I want to make sure the chip's working. I had to adjust the chip one time on them. There you guys see them. I don't know what your question was, how long? They were 51 minutes on the wing. Yeah. Uh, with this wind? They got all, they come out of the trailer. They broke off into two groups. They got caught up. They couldn't get, you could see they were the wind. The wind. And then once they got together, they, they just. Yeah. Well, this wind here is uh, tremendous. David Tracy's right, 51 minutes. And the legend of Fergus grows again. He's done it now at 50 miles. He can be first in the clock. Wow. Remember, guys, it's hard to go wire to wire. Tomorrow's training again will be tomorrow in the afternoon. Sometime I have to check the weather. Back to Brecon again. There will be at least two more training flights at Brecon. Tomorrow, if tomorrow goes like today, they will go one more time for their graduation. I thought that wind was a bit too strong for their brain. Oh God. I thought <laughs> for sure. Not that I didn't think they could do it, but I thought they were going to be a little... Well, they were. They were two minutes slower than the last time out. And that was the start. I watched them. It was the start that screwed them. Yeah. Good job to David Tracy. He picks 51 minutes right on. Hey, uh, David, David Tracy, if you can talk loud enough, but he had a question. What, when you open up a bird's wing, it's not a dumb question, it's like a serious question. When you open up a bird's wing, what flight would you not send a bird? So if the bird's kicked its first, would you send it? Second, would you send it? What flight wouldn't you send a bird? Uh, for what distance? For let's say 250 miles. Sixth flight. You don't like the sixth, or what about the tenth? Or the tenth? Well, way out there. No, if it's on a blood quill, you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't send it. I wouldn't send it on the ninth. Uh, like a blood quill. Tenth. Ninth, tenth on a blood quill, even the eighth. And again, you say the sixth. Six is right at the elbow of the wing. The fifth or the sixth. Yeah. That can be a little tender yeah. or a little sore. Yeah. On the, on the seven. Oh. I have. I've got a question. I have take over a loft. Would you start over with new new pigeons? Les, I think it's up to you what you want to start with. I think what you have to look at is what you want to do. 
yeah, he took over somebody's loft. No I guess birds. no birds. I mean, uh, it, it, I don't know. No, he doesn't have birds. He's, he's taking over a new loft, or he's taking over a loft. I, I think, I, I think. I don't know if there's birds in the loft. Maybe there is. Or do you want to get new birds? I think it's really up to you what you want to get. Here you guys see them as we wait. Be kind is first. What did you say first? Yes, with birds. Well, if you have them with birds, if you like those birds and they're your, you know, you like the way they are and you enjoy them, then go ahead. If you've taken it over for someone and they have no interest and they don't care and you don't like them, well, do what you want. The birds that are in here? Yeah. Uh, ask the man, what has he flown in the last five years? Right. Right? And what's left in the basket? And, and I think you have to ask the question, too. What's left? What has what the guy done that you're taking over? And what do you want to do, right? If you want to just have pigeons for fun, play around a bit, then those probably are going to be great pigeons. You're probably going to have fun with them, and that's good. If you want to get into serious racing, then you have to look at other things. We can't tell you that because only you know. Say, where do you fly the birds? Like, yep. for example. But, but does it, does it, I know where he flew the birds, but can I ask you a question? Isn't, yeah. the, isn't the first question is, what do you want to do with the birds? If he's a sprint champion and you're into long distance, those aren't the birds for you. Is he a champion, number one? Number Dad, two. Dad, it, Dad you, you're not even listening to the question. You first have to figure out what you want to do. But anyways. Some guy that's just playing around with pigeons, forget it, man. And then you got to look at... Long distance, done nothing. Well, there you go. He just he just said long distance and done nothing. Do we have to? Out of a hundred pigeons, he just said long distance and the birds do nothing. So we we know out of a hundred pigeons, one's good. It doesn't matter if it's sprint or long distance. Let me finish. Oh. Out of a hundred pigeon flyers, right? Right. There's maybe. Uh, percent that work the birds the rest are garbage they're pigeon they're keepers pigeon, pigeon keepers man pigeon keepers all right, take, all right. Take, i'll take my shirt off you think i'm a muscle man you no, look you kind of look like one anyways i didn't know what that had to do with it but I'm just saying, let's go into your other loft ricky i don't know what that had to do with anything again ricky oh, seven what it's a simple, it's simple. You have to, can I ask you a question? You go out and buy a, a Ferrari. Does that mean you're taking it on the track? No, I just want it to look at it in my yard. Well, Wait that's fine. Wait a minute. Uh, you gotta buy the Ferrari. Pigeons. Pigeons to grow with me. Well, you gotta figure out less what you wanna fly, what you're wanting to do, and then I think those are the pigeons for you. And how crazy serious you want to get in, it's always up to you. That's what my thought is. Past ones. Oh, yeah. Oh. What do we got in here? Is that a nice Lantica? As you guys wait, you're going to see. We're going to go in now to Ricky's loft. I'm going to pull the drinker out of my loft while we feed. Uh, you can, oh, yes, you can always start in an upgrade. That's right. Going to get more feed. All right. And you're still out here because Troy gave you the curse. I know. Okay. Am I down somebody today? Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe so. Did you drink all your water? Almost. You're crawling on me hard. Holy jumping. Are my blue grizzles here? The Bobsy twins? Yeah, they're here. 
We're going to go into Ricky's and start with Ricky. I don't know if he's even mixed me any feed. Probably not. Probably not. Sky is falling. We will play today's photo finish here momentarily. What? I don't see any vapors. I know. At all. So that means it all came. Should be here. Right. right. Even that bird from uh, Leah. If you're watching, did chocolate syrup clock? Come in here. They just like go. Hello. 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 Nope. See. Go. 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 Come on. Bo -bo -bo -bo. You got even a nice slant to come in here, eh? Yeah. But I think, though, another great toss. And you can really see, same, stronger wind. They come out of the transporter. They got broke, and it, it screwed the start of the rhythm up, but they put it back together, and that's what you guys are seeing here now. Pick birds are on, guys. Get them picked. Tomorrow's going to be the super happy hour for pick birds. That's mine. You know what he wants, eh? He can find everywhere, but here. He'll do good at three and a box. Oh, yeah. I'm on dying to see at what point he stops going under the law. He'll start stopping the ankle bars because he lives there forever. Yes. Did love it. We haven't lost one of Clogger's. Amazing. Unbelievable. And not even, they're not even late. They're right there. They're right there. Yeah. It's not like this sucker here can go up there. This one? Yeah. Power. Muscle. Again, guys, you see them. This is how we keep them. Same way. Left them in the feed bucket. Personal, sitting with the bird, feeding the birds, taking your time. Taking your time. All the inches you see right here. Keep going, keep going, keep building. Building the bond up. Don't worry, Jeffrey didn't go today. Jeffrey was held back. He's going to be held back for maybe about a week. There's old Jeffrey. The question you got to ask, how many birds can you get in the first log of bucket? Slow and steady, you guys see it all here at the Pioneer Village. The way I go when I feed, I like to have them about a one-third crop of feed. That's it. One-third. That's it. Not a half. One-third. There's JT's bird. Yeah, he's there. Yep, yeah, got one. And, uh, I'm looking today for uh, Gene. He's here. I think he's right here. Gene. 
That's him right there. That that black checker. That one. Well, either, yeah, that's that's Mike. He's a, he's a lighter one. This, this one's one. the one from Mountain View. Yeah. Two that different. one there's Mike. That's Mike. Yeah. You know what? You see the chocolate right there in front of you with the white flakes? Yeah. It was on the road two weeks. Yeah. I opened the basket up today. I'm not gonna lie. The bird walked right in, just like he was on the bike, 50 miles. <laughs> walked right in. He wanted to go. He just got in. He didn't act. He wasn't acting like. Uh, yeah. What's the plan? He's not even a quarter cross full of feet. But back on the bike. He's a strong bird. He come. Yeah. But there he is. Look at these guys here. Now, oh, this, this somebody's one, on the roof. This mic? No. No. I think that's broken wing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's old broken wing. Yes, guys, I'm going to put the power on to my loft, and then I will go in and feed. Maybe I will wrap this up. Very content. Okay, I will show you mine, no problem. Oh, he's eating. Jeffrey's eating. There's old Jeffrey on the bucket. Who's that broken wing again? Yeah. <laughs> Makes his way all the way back, eh? I gotta get my feed now. Do you? Okay. I gotta need some, yeah. All right, guys. First things first. We're gonna get the. I've gotta get the camera going, or the not the camera. I want to get my light on. Go for the roosters through the legs. Plug my light in here for a moment. Any more late ones? We will see. Uh, what is there? 229. So 230. Pretty close. Pretty close. Hold on. Let me plug my light in. So we got some light. Let's start to feed. Oh, we got the play-by-play -play slow motion. Let's see how this thing's going to go. Maybe it'll be hard to see, you know. I'm trying to look here to see if I can see it. Is it playing? Too hard to do it while I'm doing that. I'll have to look back into it. 
start lights mean meaning uh for the darkening you got to put the lights on to hold them out i want them to have over now 12 hours of light they gotta have over 12 hours of light eh what would you like that that's a good boy eh did you enjoy that here oh look at you as all eh there you go Come on, let's go in. When you put them on the dark, then you got to switch them over to the light. There's a point here where you got to put lights on them. Mine didn't darken like normal, but I had a few other issues. So what can I do? What can I do? So, come on. Oh. Hold on a second, boys. I know. Let me get set up, please, in here. Well, we start off with one of corn. That's good. I think I'm going to need a little more. What do I want to hit them with here again? All right, let's go over and get some more. Brian Scott. Thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow for the Super Pick Verge. Uh, you got to thank Fergus today. Get me one shot ahead of Ricky. It was close. No veg today. That's my mix. That was my mix. What? What, the, what did you call that? All right. You want to give me that mix? That's fine. Well, I'll smoke you with that then. I gotta see. Oh, it's probably here it is. Ah, Ricky Seven. There we go. There we go. There we go. They are hungry. As we wait. Oh, Ricky mowed the lawn. Grass looks good.
Let him pee pee. Let's put down on this side. Let him pee pee. I also like Christmas vacation. Oh, who's in this? Sherry. Hey, Sherry, how's it going? How's the song coming along? Oh, you ate a whole bunch today. I know. I fed you like a pig. never seen pigeons like this before. Man, all I want to do is rip my shoes off. Almost done. Good job. Hey, I want to thank you very much to everyone. But, you know, again, Tracy, uh, Sherry Tracy, thank you for, for, for being brave to try and put that thing together. Let's see the camera here, folks. Is this thing working or not? Why doesn't anything can move? Done. We're done. Save. Okay, let, let's just hit play. Maybe that's what's the problem. I have to hit play. Hold on, it's preparing to save. Probably takes 20 minutes to prepare. More speed, need a little bit more. We're almost there, folks, we're almost there. We're gonna see, oh, there we go. Oh, fuck. Come on. All right, let's hit play. Oh, it didn't save yet. Here we go, let's play. Here we go. Here we go. Here they come. Oh yeah, I got them beat. There you go. That's a boys. Pound it in, pound it in, pound it in, pound it in. Go, go, go. Give me the high gear. Just pounding. I'll get that uploaded. We'll send that up to Leah. Maybe she'll post it up. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Let's keep going. I did take them there. Had to be lucky. Had to be lucky. You stay at the twisted. Stay at the twisted sister. What does that mean? Stay? What? Sherry trying to win a free weekend to the Twisted Sister. Oh, you never know. Can I see how much food's in your system? Let me see. How's that? Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. There's Ryan and Coke right there. Can I handle you for a second? Check the odd one out. Not bad. Not bad. Some will have more than others. Some eat and some run around.
No vegetables today. Tomorrow's vegetable day, not today. Number one, didn't have time. Number two, we can have one day off of vegetables. Go, Fergus, go. Don't get down, guys. First time in a week he's picked up the pace. What does that really mean? Really, it means nothing. Only time will tell. Why would I lock that door? I like to open these all up. There you go. I got to get some grits for them. I'm going to give them some fresh grit today. You know what I am going to do? I'm going to leave the camera right there for a moment. Hold on, guys. I'll be back. We're going to give them just some plain old regular grit, multi grit. Oh, knock the camera over. Nothing if you knock that camera over. There you go. There you go. Look out. Look out. Look out. I gotta get you. bit of grit. What do they say? A little bit of grit goes a long way. Bridges what? Three? Let's handle another one. How are you? How are you feeling? Holy shit. Half full. One more bit, a little bit more feed guys. Okay. A little bit more. Feeding is the art, eh? The hardest thing to do, get the feeding right. You don't you can have everything else. If you don't have the feeding, you're screwed. A oh. little bit more. You know what? We're going at it. One more. Eating like little pigs. So, guys, tomorrow back to Brecon, Ontario. Brecon again. Should be a fun one. I get some fresh water ready for the kids. And a little bit of iodine in there today. Working on that pox. Working on that pox. We're trying our best, folks.
There we go. Look out! Look out! Finish your eating. I gotta go over there and grab the camera. Hold on. Still on the camera. Let me shut the camera. So, guys, tomorrow we will be back at Brecken. Again, afternoon, evening toss. Take our time. Take our time. Slow and steady. I'll go in there. Uh, this winter, you should have a show about feeding. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I'm the right guy for feeding. I just feed the way. So I think you know, David. I think feeding is a feeling, right? You know, I never feed the same way every day. I don't measure it. I feel it. It's like a feeling thing. But that's just a, a me thing, really. Now they leave these lights on, let them go into their sections and do what they want, but still hungry. <whistles> See the response getting a little lighter. Response still coming, but a little lighter, a little lighter. Slow, slow, slow. These guys here, though, I got to feed them, so uh, you know what? I can't go slow every day. But... Uh, Inch by inch by inch by inch by inch by inch by inch. You hear me say it. What does that mean? It means what it is. It is what it is. Hey guys, um, uh, I'm Ryan, Ricky, and that's Leah from the Pioneer. Birds did good. There's Speedy Mama. There she is. Thanks for flying with us, guys. You have a great night. Bye for now.